Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance. In this episode of Practical Applications of Science, we're going to be covering the study titled Acute and Chronic Effects of Foam Rolling vs. Eccentric Exercise on Range of Motion and Force Output of the Plantar Flexors from the Journal of Sports Science, published in 2018. So basically what they did in this study is they got 23 elite youth soccer players and they put them through a four-week intervention aiming at changing their ankle range of motion. So they got half the subjects, 12 of them, to do daily foam rolling on their calf from the Achilles tendon all the way up to the knee, and then the other half of the subjects did daily eccentric resisted calf raises. And both of these interventions were performed before their soccer training session. So the subjects didn't do both of these interventions, they only did one, depending on what group they were in, and the changes were basically compared between groups. So what happened, so in this graph here, it's showing the change in the active dorsiflexion range of motion measured with a basically knee to wall test and how far their ankle could dorsiflex. So they took it at baseline before they did the intervention. They took it 30 minutes post the first intervention. Then they did it 24 hours after the first intervention. And then the last range of motion assessment was completed after four weeks of the intervention, either the foam rolling or the eccentric training. So what we can see here, if we look at the foam rolling first, we see 30 minutes after foam rolling, there was quite a significant increase in the dorsiflexion range of motion. But then after that, 24 hours, it significantly dropped off. And then after four weeks, we were nearly back to baseline levels. So we see an acute spike followed by a reduction back to similar to baseline levels. However, the eccentric training group didn't get as much of an immediate effect. However, the range of motion increases that they gained actually continued to get stronger and stronger as the intervention went on. So by the end of the intervention, they actually had quite significant changes in the dorsiflexion range of motion. So what can we take from this study? So essentially what we can conclude is that foam rolling may be able to induce a temporary increase in range of motion. However, eccentric strength training may create more permanent changes in range of motion. And why this is the case is not entirely clear. However, it's probably due to some sort of neural inhibition from the foam rolling that we get that temporary release. So it's more of a neural factor whereas the eccentric strength training may actually produce a structural change in the muscle. So it's pretty well established from literature on eccentric overload training that we can actually get increases in the fascicle length of the muscles from heavy eccentric overload training. So what we can see here, if this is an original muscle fiber, with eccentric training, we can get in-series hypertrophy, meaning that the muscle actually grows in a long way. So we actually gain the sarcomeres in series, so in lengthwise. So the muscle may actually structurally get longer as opposed to foam rolling simply just being a neural, in a temporary neural inhibition. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.